Okay, this is problem 2.63, and what it is, you have this collar that's um, connected to this frictionless rod, and it can move around, and it's connected to a 50-pound weight, and the question is, what force do you have to put, what horizontal force do you put on the collar to keep it in certain positions? Okay, so what do we have? Well, right here, you have a force down here of 50 pounds, right? But this is a frictionless um, pulley, so that means that the tension in the cable over here is known, it is 50 pounds. Okay, so now it's just a matter of that tension is going to be, there's going to be a certain portion in this direction, a certain portion in that direction, and then we're going to use that to figure out the 50 pounds of that direction. So let's look at part A. Part A, X is equal to 4.5. So let's look at our little uh, force triangle. We have at point A, you have some unknown force in the Y direction. We'll call this uh, P in the Y. It's supposed to be a Y. You have some P in the X, but we know the force in this direction. It is um, 50, and we know this distance right here is 20. This distance is 4.5. So when you take the square root of 4.5 squared and 20 squared, you have 20.5. So therefore, P in the X, whoop, X direction, is 50 times 4.5 over 20.5, which gives you 10.98. So in order for this to be in equilibrium, you're going to have to turn around and pull back with the same thing. So therefore, P is equal to 10.98 pounds. That's part A. Part B, it's the same, same idea, very similar. In this case, X is equal to 15. So if we look at our force triangle now, we have Still, we have 50 in this direction. The distance here is 15. The distance here is 20. That works out to be 25 over here. So therefore, P is equal to 50 pounds times 15 over 25. So P is equal to 30 pounds. So the key on this one really is, is mostly just to remember for frictionless for this pulley up here, if there's 50 pounds pulling down on this side, and how do we know it's 50 pounds? Well, because it's 50 pound weight, right? Then that 50 pounds is also going to be pulling along the cable in that direction. And that, and then that included with the geometry helps us figure out the X and Y. You'll notice on both of these, we're not talking about the Y force. And there is Y force, it just happened to, um, that Y force is going to be, be, is because the rod is not allowing the collar to go up and down. Uh, but it was not asked for. We could figure it out, but we don't need to because it was not asked for. Well, I mean, let's look at this one. This one, the PY is going to be 50 times, in this case, what is it, 20 over 25, which is around like 48, 49. And this PY is going to be the same deal. It's going to be 50, but this is going to be times uh, 20 over 25. I haven't figured out what that is, but it's going to be, what, 40-ish or so. I mean, that's four-fifths, so 40. Okay. So that's what that's going to be. So there is a Y element, but it just happens to not be what was asked for.